Howdy. Mm, I think I have to report a bit on earthquakes. There is interesting things going on all over the place. Etna experienced a little quake there some hours ago. But we are talking about Italy. Campi Fligrei. Campi Fligrei. Fligrei and Fields. I guess that's from yesterday or from the night or this day. 2.7. 2 kilometers in depth. Like almost inside. And I actually, when I watched that, I noticed that it's white. <laughs> yeah, it's white. What to do? 0 0.9, one kilometer in depth. Four hours ago, two kilometers in depth, 1.5. And now we are at the caldera or inside of one of those calderas. Four hours ago, one kilometer in depth, 1.1. And then there's a smaller one, 0 0.7, four hours ago. So probably they, or maybe they just updated it before leaving home, I don't know. Or did they struck simultaneously? So there's water, check it out. Lago Grande, the big lake. <sighs> yes. So this is what is going on at Campi Fligrei. There has been something some time ago here in Slovenia. But at the moment it seems to be calm. Are we in Albertville? Yes. Near Chambre, five kilometers in depth, 2.2. .2. Shall we zoom in a bit and check it out? Is there any water weighing close in the proximity or whatever else? Yes. How comes? Yeah, there's always, yeah. Always when I zoom in into a mountain, there's water. Even though there is no snow or whatsoever, no water. This looks in a way peatish, peatlands, wetlands in the mountains. Anything from interest? This one? Maybe it's just pouring out of that. This looks like a small, very small water body. And here we have a bigger one. And another one. Lacs de Roche Noire. Yeah, they have even names. And here on the shadow side, there's an ice patch, which would be probably a lake too. Like these ones are here. And I'm pretty sure they're all fed from below. Of course, rainwater is seeping into that and snowfall and all these kind of things. But otherwise, if it would be just so, they would dry up in summer. There wouldn't be any houses built up here in the Alps. Or villages, if there is no water. So what else? Wallis, always interesting. We have Brieg somewhere here. Brieg, I have been writing about Brieg. Now let's see how it goes with the paper. Maybe it just took a step forward today. Let's see. A glacial quake in Muren. Burn. Zero kilometers in depth. Hmm. 
I assume this is a glacier. With a marked waterway in it. <laughs> wow, check it out. Very interesting. And you can see on the flow pattern through the ice. Here the ice might be more viscous, so it's easier for it to flow downhill. And it maybe gets pushed in a way somehow. By the pressure. Now these are also very interesting patterns here. Increased viscosity in the ice. Maybe some of you have seen the glacial outburst in Kyrgyzstan or however you spell it. Now we are totally upside down. I hope you can take it. Let's watch it upside down. Totally change our perspective. France. La Ag. Near Quimpy. 17 user reports for 2.4 and 5 kilometers in depth. That's interesting. We have to check them out. Remember some months ago we had this 5.6 or something in Spain and there wasn't any user reports. Gros similaire du tourner. Not shaking, just the song. A noise wake me up. Donner. Donner. Could it be thunder? I don't know. Je me suis réveillé deux minutes avant le tremblement, sûrement par intuition, comme les animaux. Wake up two minutes before the tremors, like an intuition known from animals. This sounds interesting. Felt like a tank going past the building. So maybe this. Tonnerre is a tank. I don't know. I don't think so. Where did, you, where did we have? Rumbling sound woke us up. Yes. These were the reports about that. <laughs> isn't here anywhere this? No, it isn't. Let's have a look at the place. I assume that's flat like a pan. Gwemer Sylvie. Some historical place, obviously. Yeah, farming. Where is it? It's gone. There is water rains all over the place. Maybe we have to take a look at that on Google Earth in order to find out is it really flat? Where are we? Okay. Uh, hopefully you find this place and you watch for yourself very interesting but anyway let's go to France Monaco Ooh. Portugal, Spain so here we got to go. Brest. Here we have this very nice triangle, P triangle. And the place where we go is just to the left. And also what we can obviously see. Gypsum. Chalk. 
limestone. Breck, we were here somewhere. Yeah, I wanted to see if that's flat or not. We have limestone, possible concrete production also here, which requires high alkalinity. So let's go down to somewhere. Bleiben. Quimper. We were somewhere here. Let's just... Langolen. Street view. So it's a bit hilly. Mm, yeah. That suits me. But it's an interesting, interesting, how to put it, space or place. Do we see anything through the fields? Something ancient or whatever. There are some patterns. Maybe not too wild. Now let's put everything on and see if we can find anything interesting. Near Langolen. Langolen. <clears throat> Tiny house. <laughs> Earl Brand. <clears throat> there must be something. And I don't know, I just do a video. I don't know if I ever release it. I don't have any pressure. J'appelle Notre Dame de Tigrimont. Let's see if there's water in it. Or how does it look in the first place? It seems to be made out of chalk stone. <clears throat> Yeah, dragon. Okay, we found the dragon. And the two pillars in two ways. Is there anything drawn in that? Maybe has been once a crown and a thunder dodo. <laughs> no, maybe it's a thunderbird. I don't know. Water, check it out. There's the well. Bingo, and the Holy Maria protecting it. So we can maybe assume that she is Venus and he is Mars. Polar configuration, Saturn, Venus, Mars, Earth. There is the water. Yeah, it's not in the church itself, but obviously in the yard. Maybe there's inside one too. Maybe there's a well, a well too on this, under this stone. Or maybe that's the well, I don't know. Or maybe that's another well. Can we see it from inside? No. So as I said many times, Let's go back to the picture I want to have. 
the well picture in this. As I said many times, holy places are quite sure related with water because they need water. Everyone needs water. So they make sure they have at least water. And the church works like a fortress for the water. There is a big door. There are thick walls. So it's very well protected. So if you need water, and you need it from there, for whatever reason, if there's no own water, or, you know, you have to go inside that. And they won't open you the door if you're a wrong one. So they have to power over the water, which is a very profound need of almost every species alive. So, I just started off somewhere with a video. And, of course, mainly they are about the water, after all. And again, the holy place and the water. And I think I understand now. Like, let's make an example. Let's put all the stuff off clean. And then we put the photos on. And we just zoom out, give it a spin, and zoom in. We are here in Africa, in the middle out of nowhere. There might be a different result in a way. I wanted to show you that mostly, if you go somewhere, Google Earth pictures provides you with holy places. These are usually the first ones you see. Yeah, of course, we are now in a very special place. <laughs> Let's try somewhere here in Russia, for example. And that's a good way to start or to show you what I mean. Okay. Now we have pictures. And I would just start randomly. It's a church. Sergei Gutsenov. And then we take this one. It's a church. Let's take this one. It's a church. I could make a screenshot. I could I make a screenshot. Now we go to check out the screenshot and we can zoom in without the pictures moving. And I have been once talking about that. Wondering about how is it possible that there's like churches and churches after churches. Check out the tree, the parat instability. That's why we have the Christmas tree. These look like churches to me. Sometimes there are castles too. But, but the church after all, it's a castle. <laughs> Thanks.